With only a few weeks left until opening night, the cast and crew of Schoolhouse Art Center's SpongeBob the Musical is busy perfecting every scene. The SpongeBob musical was uh, a huge hit on Broadway in 2017. Um, the rights recently became available. We snagged those rights, and it's going to be our first main stage show of the year. So we've got five main stage shows this year. We've got summer camps planned, three black box shows, uh, four kids slash junior shows. The theater has been drawing crowds to Standish for the last 34 years. It's not just let's put on a show, which is great. A lot of theaters are very good at putting on a production and having it be slick and smooth and state of the art. We're state of the heart, where the process is more important than the end product. We've been lucky in the last few years that the end product has, has been, you know, top notch quality. We believe in um, educating all areas of the performing arts, which includes design, includes music, includes dance, as well as the actual performance. Through the summers, we put in well over 100 kids through here. And if you look at any of the cast, there are tons of, of kids and teens and young adults. That's what makes this place special. It's a mission they hope to continue for many years to come. There's just one problem. The building is very old and falling apart on us. The theater sits in the lower level of the old Standish High School and like any old building, needs some serious maintenance. The building itself is over 100 years old. All original floors, all original doors, all original hinges, the original slate chalkboards are still downstairs. Those are the, that's the charm that we like. We're not looking to renovate and remodel the, the building. We're looking to keep its charm. But there's some structural things that need help. The floor in the gathering room is warped. The exterior of the building needs to be repainted. Some uh, panels need to be replaced. You see like we've had to put blocks to keep the window from falling back into the room and there's literally duct tape um, holding it in. And to heat this building is, oh, it, it's, it's somewhere between ten dollars and $12,000 to get us through the winter just on our heating costs. So if we're, if we're hemorrhaging heat out of the windows, it's, it doesn't, doesn't serve us very well. Right now, they rely on volunteers to help clean out years and years of clutter and install temporary fixes. Schoolhouse's artistic director, Zachariah Stern, has a plan, though. We've announced a $2 million capital campaign to renovate and restore the building. Um, the building's over 100 years old, and so uh, there's a lot of work that needs to go into the building, but we're not going to veer from our mission, which has always been to educate, and the show is going to follow organically. Um, and it's something that we're good at doing. We've been good at it for the last 34 years and hopefully for the next 34 and beyond. <laughs> it's a huge undertaking and it won't be possible without help from their community. We've reached out to a number of local businesses for season sponsors and show sponsorships, but we're also going out to the big corporate entities going, look, we want you to be involved with what we can do here. We wanna show you what we can do and the magic of theater and how it all impacts all of our lives. And so, the process is, is slow moving because it's, you're right, it's a lot of money. <laughs> it's so much money, but um, you know, that's what the building needs in order for us to fulfill our mission even more. And if we were able to make these restorations, the programming expands exponentially. Stern says he and the team at Schoolhouse have no doubt they will reach their goal, adding the best is yet to come. In 10 years, I see art galleries, I see an art show, I see exhibitions, I see outdoor concerts in the massive parking lot that we have, I see theatrical performances, 17 productions a year, which is what we do now. A lot of paint, a lot of love, a lot of blood, a lot of sweat and tears needs to go into this place.